Hi guys, good morning. I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach, the Messiah. Christ means Messiah and Jesus is the Messiah. Why are we having fires and floods and hurricanes and all these things? Well, one thing that I remembered, because I'm about my father's business, <laughs> one thing I remembered, and I know it's the Holy Spirit um, Father reminding me, is that uh, a few years ago, CERN, which is 666, started doing the Shiva dances. All the scientists were doing the Shiva dances, and they have Shiva the Destroyer. This is Shiva the Destroyer outside of their um, their plant, their particle plant. And also, the, um, the uh, New York... Um, the New York Tower had a picture of Shiva on it. Oops. Hold on. That's not it. <laughs> Here we go. New York also had Shiva, the destroyer. And we see the third eye there. It's got a tower with a pointy thing. It's tongue sticking out and everything. That's what they do whenever they do yoga. This was on a building in New York. Okay, so they're plant, putting their images and their plans out there that they're worshiping the god Shiva, the destroying god. Um, I think it's a Buddhist thing I'm, or Hindu thing. I don't remember. Anyways, um, they worship the god destroyer because they believe that out of chaos comes order and that they build and then they destroy and then there's a or, new order, a new order. So that's the city of New York they're going to destroy. That's their plans. Just like um, the CERN machine has, you know, this destroyer. They are about destruction, and we know that Satan is a destroyer, and God brings life. So they bring death, and God brings life. You cannot get chaos. You cannot get order out of chaos. You can't get um, life from death um, other than through Jesus Christ. Um, his death did bring us life. I, that's kind of funny. God just brought that to my memory. But they distort the image of God and what God did because God gave us life through the Son, through His Son. He loved the world so much that He gave His only Son. He gives Himself. These people, the elites, they go hide in bunkers and then they cause the destruction. Jesus gave his life, his own life. That's the agape love that God has. These people have self-love. This is all about self. The third eye, all of it is about self. And it's a selfish God that does that. Jesus is agape. He is a giving God. He's a selfless God. He gives himself as a sacrifice versus these people sacrifice people and children and, and, um, they, they get people to crave the stuff they build. They make money off of us. They make merchandise out of the people. And then they destroy it so they can maintain their power. Once the people start waking up and seeing the, that, oh, wait a minute, we don't need all of this stuff, then they have to destroy it and start over. That's how Egypt did it. That's how Babylon did it. Nothing new under the sun. This is the same old serpent the same old demon devil in different men or people who are reincarnated or, or not reincarnated but um, cloned. However they're doing, reincarnation is a lie. The, the word of God says the man is appointed to live once and then the judgment. So um, the judgment seat of Christ Jesus and that's where, you, where he decides where you're going for eternity. Um, he weighs you in the balances, what your life is, and how who you served with your members, your body. So I'm about the Father's business because he says his children are those who obey the Father, his people, his mother, and everything in the Word of God. Jesus said that. So this is what's going on. This is why we have the fires in, um, in uh, Napa. But also... Let's give God the credit also, okay? 
Um, so the destroyer comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Now, most of these Napa people, God showed me, are, were rich. We see their pools here. Most of them had caves underground where they had their, um, their vineyards, their, um, where they, their wine cellars and everything. Very wealthy people on the Napa, Napa land. And what God has shown me about um, Napa is uh, that these people are the rich and the famous, the, the, the wealthy of the wealthy. And as much as I love Napa and the vines, and it hurts me to see people suffering and all of that, I do believe that God is still in control. And although the destroyer is doing the destruction, God is showing that their works, because it was built on oppression, it was built on um, on the love of money, um, it's built on man's kingdom, man's way, man's um, uh, extortion. Um, it, basically, these most of the people that have the sellers are Jesuits and Masons, and he's showing them that their works will go up in smoke, but the works of people who 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 are doing heavenly works, uh, the spirit fruit, their their fruit is like the fig tree that Jesus. Uh, cursed, it doesn't produce life, it produces death versus the fig tree that's alive. The leaves of the tree of life are the Holy Spirit um, leaves and they produce life, not death. So we pray for people to be saved. And although um, this earth, it says in the word of God, the whole universe will be in, in, um, will burn up. That's what it says in the Word of God, I think, in, in Peter. Um, we who are with Jesus, we have another place, a kingdom that Jesus is preparing for us, a new kingdom. And he says, I go to prepare a place for you, and where I am, I will come and, and bring you to myself. So he has a better kingdom for us. He says this is not his kingdom. And we could see, you know, it, everything here is pretty um, pretty destroyed, you know. Um, anyways, God has a plan, and we don't know all of the things, and it breaks my heart what I'm seeing. It breaks my heart that these people are living in, in destruction. But also that many of the Jesuits and Masons brought this on. This is their work. Um, it's apparently, um, they did do, um, things to bring this about. And although the destroyer comes to kill, steal, and destroy, many people hopefully will turn during this chaos and turn to the living God, to Jesus Christ, and stop worshiping dead gods that destroy. Um, it breaks my heart that the animals and the land and all that is being destroyed. And I remember how pretty the vines were. Um, but I do know that many of the labels on the wine um, bottles mock God. And they don't really believe in God. Um, these Jesuits and Masons, Illuminati and Shriners, they own the vines. These rich, rich people own the vines. And they serve um, the devil, you know, in their life and our antichrist spirit. And um, according to what I'm learning, many of them got their wealth on doing wicked things. And so judgments, it says in the word of God, it says that the wages of their wages is our death. Um, because that's what they produce, self-idolized death versus Jesus creates life and life more abundantly. So turn to the one, if you are a Jesuit Mason Shriner or um, any of those, God doesn't hate you and neither do I. We, we ask that you repent and turn from your wickedness. Stop worshiping yourself. 
stop worshiping the um, planets and the constellations and worship the one living God, Jesus Christ. He proved that he was, uh, he defeated death. So he is the way, truth, and the life, and nobody gets to the Father except through him. He died on the cross because he gave agape love. He gave himself for a dying world, <clears throat> for us, for a dying people. And he said, though sin will increase, his grace will increase more. So his grace and mercy is here for you. And he wants to extend that grace and mercy. Just repent. Turn to him. Ask him to forgive you for your sins. Ask him into your heart. And ask him to make you a new creation in Christ Jesus. Christ means Messiah. And Jesus is the Christ, it says in the word of God. We ourselves can do nothing apart from him. It says in the word of God that we are... Um, we are basically filthy rags compared to his holiness so if we think that think that we have light and we don't it's the light that leads to darkness the light bearer comes to deceive you and make you think that he is um, good and that God is bad he switched everything and made everything um, turned around the truth is that there is a rebellion and the rebellion is against the one true God and the battle that we, we, we battle is against the knowledge of who God is. And you should know that we are not God. And it is very clear that we are his creation. That he created us from the ground. Clay pots. And put life in us. So to call ourselves God is abomination to the one true God. He shares his throne with nobody. And he also showed, showed us a way that we could come out of that wickedness. He gave us a way to be his sons and daughters. He gave us a way to be with him. And that is through Jesus Christ. We become descendants of God through Jesus Christ. We become his children and we will be like him. Yes, we will be like him. We will be like God. We're still not God, but we will be like him. And that is a wonderful thing. So if you want to stop worshiping your many gods in yourself as a god and the serpent in your spine, um, you're welcome to come to the kingdom, to turn to Jesus Christ. He's always there ready to welcome you in, but you have to turn away, repent from your, from your ways and stop producing fruit that perishes because, I mean, for, yeah, or the, yeah, the leaves and the fruit that perishes. Um, sin is death. The wages of sin is death. You, that's the wages that you're, you're um, feeding. But the, the life that we give is the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit produces life. And I have to say, the fruits of the Spirit is love, peace, joy, kindness, goodness, long-suffering, and self-control. And the love that he gives is a selfless love. It's not the kind of love as the world. It's a different love. It's a sacrificial love. The kind of peace that he gives is not peace in that we're all going to sing Kumbaya. His peace was he gave him himself to um, make peace with between us and the Father. And so... I give my time and myself right now to help people have peace with God through Jesus Christ. I could be out doing whatever I want, but I sacrifice my time and my energy because I'm a living stone on earth um, here with the Holy Spirit, hoping that people would come to the knowledge of who God is because they're in darkness. We are in the light. Jesus is the light. The light bearer bears the light. Jesus is the light. That's the difference. The light bearer comes as an angel of light, but Jesus is the light. So turn to him and he can cleanse you and make you a new creation. But you have to turn to him. He came to us as we are, as a sinner. So our sins, he works on us. He cuts away the, the sin out of us. We can do nothing apart from him. So I pray that you do repent because the kingdom of God is nigh.